Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me where I'm basically doing my like bridal engagement photo shoot makeup. I do want to practice a couple of looks, so this is one of the looks that I might do. And if you couldn't tell, I I'm not wearing the makeup that I did in the video. This is actually being filmed a couple days later because I forgot to film an intro. Anyway, if you guys are interested in watching one of my first bridal makeup tutorials, then keep on watching. All right, so we are starting off with the bare face. I've already done all of my skincare. So, and I've already done my hair, as you can see. Um, I kind of went for this like wavy type of thing. Um, I don't know what kind of makeup I'm going to be doing today, but I am hoping that I can practice today. <laughs> uh, this is going to be kind of like, um, a little practice on my engagement photo shoot makeup, and I'm also going to be wearing this to an event that I'm going to later today. So, um, my hair already looks like complete shit, but, um, I did my best. I am going to start with my face today just because I'm not going to do anything crazy on the eyes. Um, for my engagement photo shoot, I definitely want to do something a little more classic, timeless, but also still glam. Um, I don't know what my dress is going to look like, but it is going to be white and it is going to be at the beach. So I do want something like glistening, basically. Um, I am a really big fan of like rosy gold bronzy colors, so I'm probably going to do something like that. So. Let's just start with the face. Okay, so for today, I'm gonna use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And this is just gonna ensure that my makeup lasts all day. And it's really bothering me how I haven't like completely pinned back my hair. Um, I don't wanna mess it up. But this, this situation is like not ideal. Maybe I'll pin it back like this. I am also gonna use my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer today. Just because I do have some like larger pores right here. So I'm gonna use this with my Wet n Wild brush. <laughs> it doesn't have a name. And I'm mainly just gonna put this like where I have pores. All right, so for my foundation today, I'm gonna use two of my favorite foundations. Um, these are kind of like my tried and true foundations. The ones that I wear when I don't want anything to fail. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me use this like multiple times, but I love these so much. So I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation and my Revlon Photo Ready Candid, and they have the word photo in them, so I trust them with the photography side, so. So I'm just going to put a mixture of these all over my face basically and down my neck. And these do give me a pretty good coverage. I feel like it's a medium coverage but you can definitely build it up. And my hair is in the way. And I am using my e.l.f. sponge which is my favorite favorite sponge ever. I think I am going to try a couple of different looks within the next two weeks because my fo our photo shoot, my photo shoot, our photo shoot is in two weeks and I feel like that's a pretty good amount of time to really experiment with what I want to do and how I want to look. Okay, next I'm just going to use my Fenty Pro Filter Powder in the color Butter. This is my favorite powder um, to use to set under my eyes and any high points of my face. So, I am going to bake, but only for a little because I don't like baking for longer than like a minute. And I'm also going to bake any areas that get really oily on my face, so like my nose. I'm basically my entire T-zone. I look crazy. You know what I feel like? You know that scene in White, what is it, White Chicks? Where she asks for like some powder and what's his face? Ugh. One of the girls just literally goes in with a huge powder puff and just whacks her in the face. And she thinks that's like totally fine. And 
that's how I feel right now. For the brows, I am going to use my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. I love this so much. More than my uh, Benefit Gimme Brow and more than the e.l.f. like brow volumizer gel um this just works so much better and i feel like it actually makes my brows look super fluffy i do have to get my brows done so they are going to look a little crazy today like extra thick because they are very crazy right now so um i don't really want my brows to look crazy so on the day of so i am getting my brows done next week um also i am going to get my lashes filled next week as well so they are looking horrible right now um it's a really bad day to practice this makeup but okay i'm gonna apply some of my concealer on my lids to prime and i'm taking a small sponge and blending this in all right so the brows are done um, I did the best I could. They are a little crazy right now, so, um, I'm going to start off, start with my eyes. So the two palettes I'm going to be using today are my Modern Renaissance palette and my Huda Beauty New Nude palette, my favorite palette. Um, I kind of, I still don't know what kind of look I'm going to do. I do know the vibe that I want, but I don't know exactly what colors I want to use. So I'm just going to whip these both out and start using them. So I've already concealed my eyelids. I already powdered them with my Fenty powder as well. I'm going to start with a crease color. So, And I'm going to take the color Teddy, which is this color right here. And I'm just going to put that in the crease just to start blending some color on. So that's been laid out. I am also going to um, highlight my brow bone right now and I'm just going to take the color bare from the palette as well, which is this one. It's just like a white, basic, basic, neutral white color. And I'm just going to highlight my brow bone real quick. So from the Modern Renaissance palette, please excuse the look of my palette. I'm going to take the color Warm Taupe. I'm going to start building that color into the crease and into the outer like third of my eye just to darken everything up a little bit. I do low-key want to cut my crease a little but I'm not very good at cutting creases but I'm going to try today. Um, again, I'm taking the same concealer that I've been using and I'm going to take just a concealer brush from Morphe. I'm pretty sure this came in like a kit or something, so... I did a very minimal cut crease. <laughs> like a half cut crease, basically. And I'm just setting that concealer with the same um, color that I used on my brow bone. All right, I am going to darken the outer corner, outer third of my eye. I'm going to use Cypress Umber from this palette, which is a very dark brown. And I'm going to take very, very small amounts of this color at a time because I don't want to just pile on a bunch of color and then not be able to blend it out properly. So I'm taking a small amount, dabbing it off on my little tissue right here and working in very small sections. So... I'm going to take this beautiful shimmery color from the Huda Beauty palette and it's called Crave. This color right here, it's like a marbleized shimmer color. Um, I've already put down that concealer so I'm just going to use my finger to just press it in basically. And if we need more shimmer, I do have a couple of other eyeshadows that I can use or like pigments. Okay. 
And then I'm going to take that same brush that I used for the darker eyeshadow and just start blending this color. Wow, that's a little dark. Just a little bit on that outer third. I'm going to take this Stila Magnificent Metal Eyes in the color Kitten. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to use my finger for this. I really don't want that much of this on because it can get a little intense. So I'm just going to take my finger and just literally just like the smallest amount. It's very um, like a jelly consistency, I want to say. And I'm just going to put like the excess on. Look at that. That is what's going to go on my eye. So I'm just going to put it on the very center of my eyelid and yeah if we need more work in very small amounts with this product because it can get a little extreme and i'm not someone again i'm not someone who likes shimmer on their eyes so i'm not going to put the most you know i really want to do like a smoky shadow liner so I'm gonna try to do that today. I'm gonna take that color Cypress Umber again with just an angled eyeliner brush and just start stamping it on my lash line. And this will probably look so much better when I have my lashes filled. So let's just pretend. I'm gonna start just doing the top and then I will do the wing once I've built up the courage. I'm gonna do the lower lash line now. I am gonna apply a nude liner in my waterline. This is from Maybelline and it's an infallible long wear pencil. So any nude eyeliner will work. And I do like to use a brush to kind of pull down my eye a little bit instead of using my fingers, so. The eyes are pretty much done. I am gonna start on my face. I'm sorry if you can hear the construction outside. It's really annoying. All right, and then I'm gonna bronze my face with my e.l.f. Sunkissed Bronzer. This is like the only bronzer I've been using for a while now, and I'm, I love it. So it's a very subtle color, so. gonna take actually I'm gonna take the lighter color the lighter bronzer from this palette which is basically gone but obviously it was my favorite one so I'm gonna take a small brush and just get in there and um, contour my nose which I can't see with this mirror so So for blush, I do want to just keep it really neutral, nothing too shimmery. So I'm going to take my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Party and just go ham with the blush. I think on the day of, I might try to wear a cream blush as a base just to make my skin look really glowy and then set it with a powder blush. 
pretty sure this will hold up just fine, but I do want some glow from underneath. Because right now I feel like I look really matte and I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, so to add a little bit of dew back to the skin, I'm going to use my e.l.f. shimmer palette. This is like a cream highlighter gloss type of thing. It's like a face gloss, honestly. And I really do like these because they do give such a high powered highlight to the face. So I'm going to use these two middle shades right here and just pat that on my cheekbones and yeah. I am going to blend this in with my sponge a little bit. Okay, and then just to set that cream highlighter, I am going to take my MAC highlight in Soft and Gentle, my favorite highlighter to use every day. And just apply this to the cheekbones. This is very, very soft. It's not going to look too harsh. So that's why I like it. I'm going to line my lips with um, Strip Down by MAC and then fill them in with Kylie Lip Liner in Exposed, which has been my favorite combo for a while now. The lipstick that I'm going to wear is my Smashbox Be Legendary lipstick in the color Famous, which is just like a pinky nude. 